Okay, so this is a base four example with division. And um, what we're going to do is we're going to do this and then we will check it with multiplication. We will not check it by translating to base 10 because this place value right here is the 16,384 place value. So that's crazy. So we will just go ahead and do this um, down to um, down to where we can check it by multiplication. All right, first step though is to make ourselves a little multiplication table. The base four is beautiful because we only need one, two, or three. So one group of two, one, three is obviously two, one, three. Let's see if I can anchor this a little better. There we go. All right, and then the next uh, two groups of that would be if I added this to itself. So 3 plus 3 would be 6, which is one group of 4 and two leftovers. So I'll carry that group of 4, and I would have um, that group plus two more, so that would be three groups of 4 altogether. And then my 2 and 2 would make a group of 4 and no leftovers. So there's my two groups of 2, 1, 3. And then my third group... The three groups of two, one, three. Let me see if I can get this. There it goes. Okay. Now we're going to add these two numbers together to make the third thing. So three and two is five. That's one left over, one group of four to carry. So that's one and one and three. That's five again. One to leave behind, one to carry. One and two makes three. And then we've got the one to add in there. Okay. And again, if you want to check yourself, you can on the side here take two, one, three, times 3, and just make sure that that's really what it ought to be. 3 times 3 is 9, sorry, 3 times 3 is 9, which is 2 groups of 4, 1 left over. 3 times 1 is 3, plus 2 is 5, which is 1 left over, 1 group of 4. 3 times 2 is 6, plus 1 more is 7, which is a group of 4, and 3 leftovers. So there we go, we double checked. So our multiplication table is ready to go, and we are ready to begin the problem. So 2, 1, 3, the first time we can get that into something is 1, 3, 3, 2, right? Now how many times can we get in there? 3. So 3 of the 2, 1, 3s gives us 1, 3, 1, 1. And we subtract. And we have 1 left here and 2 left here. And we bring down the next digit, which is a 0. Now I notice I can't even fit 1 two, one, three in there. That's too small. So we leave a placeholder zero up here. We move on to bringing down the next digit. Two, one, oh, one. Where are we here? We can definitely fit three, a group of three, two, one, threes in there. So that would give us the one, three, one, one. Take that away. One minus one is zero. Here I need to break, make a three, I'm sorry, make a four. Um, we're in base four. 4 minus 1 is 3, and then here I'm going to need to break and make a 4. 4 minus 3 is 1. There we are, 1, 3, 0. Bring down the next digit, which is a 0. We get 1, 300, 1, 3, oh, I shouldn't say 1, 300, 1, 3, oh, oh, which is too small to be this, but we could use this. So I think we're going to have two groups going in there, and that number, it's a little hard to read, but it's 1, 0, 3, 2. Okay, so we take that away, and we're going to have to break, make a 4, break one of those, and make a 4. So 4 minus 2 is 2, 3 minus 3 is 0, 2 minus 0 is 2. Okay. We bring down the last one, last digit that we're using here, and we're going to be putting 2, 1, 3 into there three times. Okay, so we've got the 1, 3, 1, 1, all right, and that would be 0, that would be 1, and this will have a break, make a 4, that would be a 1. All right, so we could be done here, we could go with the remainder solution, okay, like so, which means that this number times this number plus this extra should get us back where we started. So let's see if we can get that to work out.
And as I mentioned, we're not taking this back to base 10 because that's a ridiculously long number. So this times 2, 1, 3. And again, remember, we're still in base 4. So 3 times 3 is 9, which is two groups of 4 and one left behind. 3 times 2 is 6, plus 2 more is 8, which is two groups of 4 exactly, none left behind. 3 times 3 is 9, plus 2 is 11, which is two groups of 4, 3 left over. 3 times 0 is 0, plus 2 is 2. 3 times 3 is 9, which is uh, two groups of 4 and one left behind. So there's our first row, the, this number, times 3. Then we bump over a place value. And now it's 1 times the top number, which will give us each number in turn, each digit in turn, until we're finished. Now we're bumping in two place values to match up with where we begin with the 2. Let me just draw a line here to make sure I don't mess these up. 2 times 3 would be 6, which would be one group of 4, two leftovers. 2 times 2 is 4, plus one leftover, so one to carry, one leftover. 3 times 2 is 6, this is 7, so that's one 4, three left behind. 2 times 0 is 0, plus one is one. 2 times 3 is one to carry, two to leave behind. There's our big long number. All right, let's see what happens here. We got one, we got a three, we got a group of four, and three more. We have a group of four and three more again. We got a group of four and one more. We've got a group of four and three more. We've got three and we've got one. Now remember, we're not quite where we want to be, but we haven't added back in our 110 yet. So now we have to add back in that remainder. Oop. Okay, so there's one. And this is a group of four, so we carry uh, no leftovers. This is a four to carry right there, plus one more. This is a group of four, no leftovers. This is two. And then we've got three, and three, and one. And we check it, one, three, three, two, oh, one, oh, one. Bingo. Checks out. All right. So if you're confused about the remainder thing, Think about a simpler problem in base 10, maybe. Let me get a different color here. Let's say we're dividing um, 13 by 6. Okay, so 13 divided by 6, right? I know that that equals 2. I can fit two 6s in with a remainder of 1. So if I want to build myself back up to 13, I would take 6 times 2 right, because that's how many groups of six fit in there, two groups of six, and I would add that one back up on the end. That's how I get back to 13. It's exactly what we're doing here. We do the division, we get an answer and a remainder, so we take the answer times the divisor, and that's our first step, and then we add back in the remainder. That's how we get back to the original number. All right, happy dividing.